Timothy had a strange fascination with the outdoors. Whilst most children his age were down the local arcades, playing video games like Space Invaders and Asteroids, he was searching Bluebell Forest for small insects to play with at home. This was probably due to the fact that he wasn't allowed a pet dog, or perhaps the lack of human interaction. Either way, the other kids thought that he was weird. Now Tim's mum had told him to stay clear of eating forest berries, as they were bad for you. But Tim's mum wasn't there to tell him off that day. Timothy had covered a lot of ground on his hunt for insects, so he decided to have his lunch on a fallen tree. Now that raven was a bit of a blunt character. What have you got there, child? The bird then proceeded with this one-sided conversation. They look rather tasty. Finally, Tim grew a pair and told the bird where to go. Uh, go away, Crow. And with that, the bird flew away. Tim had been wandering the forest now for several hours, and unlike Theseus, Tim forgot to lay down a path of string to find his way back. Nevertheless, Tim had a map. He had seen that tree before, hadn't he? So surely he was on the right path. And look who's back. Is somebody lost? The bird said. Oh, it's you again. Did you know worms are my second favorite food? Why would I care? Because the tastiest treats are lost little boys, the bird replied. Little, I'm bigger than you. Are you sure about that, boy? Who was this grotesque creature? And where did he come from? What was he going to do to Tim? What, what are you? I have many names, the creature whispered. Your bones will make exquisite toothpicks. Finally, I found you. Did you see that? I've been looking for you for bloody ages. Mum said hurry up, dinner's ready. Ah, <sighs> never mind. Come on. Timothy wasn't sure what happened that day. Did he imagine it? Had he ingested something that played with his mind? What are you up to now? Wait here a second. It's safe to say that Tim never visited the forest again. But he did become a regular at the arcade.